Man, look at the gums on that guy. He's got some serious gingivitis. <laughs> Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, today I am in St. Clairsville, Ohio at this Spirit Halloween inside an abandoned Sears at the Ohio Valley Mall. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I do this location every year. Wait, did I make it out here last year? I think I did. Is this... Was it just last year that they did the pie in the face? I donated like 50 bucks and then the manager had to take a pie in the face. That might have been two years ago, I don't remember, but let's go ahead and go in. I got my little green buddy with me today on my shoulder. It seems like every year they have a different sign up there. All right, here we go, guys. I am super excited. I absolutely love Spirit Halloween. All right, guys, this is awesome. I already see a ton of stuff set up that I have not seen in other stores. There's lots of animatronics on the floor. We are gonna check this whole place out here, starting with the Night Terror right here in the front. Look, this guy is only a hundred bucks. Every time I see him, I like him a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get him going again here. I wonder if his eyes, his whole face stays lit up. Somebody said it reminds them of E.T., which I can totally see that since the head goes out so far. And right beside him, they actually have three of them right here, right now, for sale on the floor. Night Terror. Look at this. Check out the box even looks awesome. Look at his hands. Like, I don't know why I love the animatronic hands so much. Ooh. All right, look, he like legit just scared me, even though I knew it was coming. Like, let's just compare the size of his hands with mine. They're much bigger, and I love how creepy the knuckles look. Maybe that's what we should call you. We should just call you Creepy Knuckles. <laughs> knuckles the Night Terror. All right, let's move on over here to Ghost Face. I got the bloody Ghost Face mask on him, and look at this. They have the knife in his hand. The last one we saw had the machete, and the machete is the one that doesn't really make sense when Whenever he's stabbing because the motion that he makes is that he's stabbing. So let's go ahead and get him going here. I love how his head goes to the side. You teach a class about slashers and you still walked into a dark alley alone. Yeah, that looks much better with the knife. Makes a lot more sense. Somebody online the other day actually said that they bought him and then they put the 25th anniversary mask on him. That would look cool. I just wonder if you could actually like put the 25th anniversary gown on him too, or if you'd have to modify it because there's Velcro going up the back. So you might actually have to cut it to make it go on right. I don't know. You might have to put a little hole in the front too for the sensor there. Yeah, I like how they have the night terror out over here. I've seen a lot of pictures online and there's always somebody different standing in this location here, but it's always ghost face. All right, straight ahead guys. I know you see him and you wanna see him up close. There is Art the Clown. We're gonna see him in just a second. Let's go ahead and go straight through here. I love the carnival sign. That is the coolest ever. All right, let's go ahead through here. Oh, look at this, guys. They actually have, I couldn't remember your name, Towering Tallulah. This thing looks so much more awesome in person than I ever expected. Now look at this. I am partially colorblind, but to me, this looks green. So tell me if that is correct. Is that a green shroud? And is that a green Face. Oh my gosh, look at that face. And I gotta look at the hands here. Check that out. Those hands look spooky. They remind me of Frankenstein's monster. Okay, I'm sorry, hold on, we gotta back up because in front of Towering Tallulah, we actually have Gordo. Now, I don't, okay, wait a minute. I do see a step pad over here. I don't know if this goes to Gordo or Towering Tallulah, but let's find out. Who is it? Oh, it's Gordo. Okay, here we go. Come on now, Gordo. Yes. Oh, wow. 
Okay, that looks like it jumped up a lot higher than the one that I actually have at home. Right now, I have mine set up in a basement, and if you guys have not seen this video, make sure you go over to my other channel, Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. I did a makeover of the entire basement. I got this guy down there and Michael Myers. And right beside Gordo, they actually have two Gordos on the floor for sale, and I'm about to knock this one over. <laughs> Look at this. They even have a tower towering Tallulah for sale right here, or is that just a box? Nope, that's a legit one. That one is in the box and for sale. You can take it home right here, right now. But I wanna see this guy in action, and let me ask you guys, maybe I'm wrong. I keep calling towering Tallulah a girl, but is it a guy? Is it a guy? Is it a girl? It doesn't matter. He, she is towering and scary. Before we hit the button, let's get a close up of that face. Oh my Lord. Look at that thing. That is creepy. All right, let's hit it and see what happens. All right, tower. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna. <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't think I was gonna like this guy as much. Wait. Your curiosity and trespassing has cost you your mortality. Fear not. For you will have. Eternal existence, spellbound to me. Wow, she just keeps talking and talking and talking. That was a seriously long phrase, and I know I didn't even have a camera on her for most of the time, because I was just trying to hear what she was saying. All right, hold on a minute. Let's just look at the box over here. Okay, let's look at the box here, guys, because maybe this is going to answer our question whether this is a chick or a dude. We got to go around to the back here. Tallulah was forced to marry young to a man. That answers our question right there. Tallulah is officially a chick. A scary, creepy, green chick. All right, I gotta do it one more time here, because that was cool. All right, Tallulah, do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, when I first saw her, I thought, man, that's like an overkill because I already have Mr. Dark, they already have Hexpawn, and now they have Tallulah on the same frame. It does the same thing, but I was wrong. She turned out to be totally awesome. I'll tell you what, I am very, very, very tempted to buy her today. Do I have room in the Hummer? I still got all my Christmas stuff in the Hummer from the storage unit. Okay, let's go ahead past Tallulah here and let's check out the fortune teller booth right here. Look at it. There is a little fortune teller inside there telling my fortune already. And down here we have the evil seagull, which somebody just named Stephen Seagull. Wait, look at this. There's an actual carnival ticket right here. Are they selling these? Or are these just part of the props? That is really cool. I wish I would have thought about it and made some of those for my inflatable spirit store. Okay, let's go ahead over here and check out Max Straw. But before we check out Max Straw, we're gonna have to spin the Wheel of Fate. I always lose on the Wheel of Fate. Let's see what happens right now. Right here, right now. Oh, it's not ticking the way it should. Maybe this is supposed to be down. Hold on now, hold on. Okay, yeah, okay, let's do it one more time because I just died a death with a skull. Here we go. What the heck? It's not working right. <laughs> I did it wrong. All right, well, let's see where it lands anyway. Congrats, you get to live. That's what I'm talking about. Thank God the wheel of fate wasn't working correctly. I get to live. Oh, look at this. I walked right past them. They have two ghost faces here. How cool is that? Here's the bloody face, and I have yet to seen one set up with this face. But it's just the beginning of the season, so that will be coming soon. Hello, Hunt Former. Mac Straw. Look at this. We got the plush ghost faces and Michael Myers right up front. Let's go ahead and get him going here. <laughs> Yo. 
Yeah, I like him so much more than I ever thought I would. And I don't know what it is about crow sounds, but I absolutely love crow sounds at Halloween. It's so spooky. All right, don't worry. We're making our way over to art, but first we have to take a look at the giant death ray. Look how absolutely enormous he is. He's just like Slender Man if you put a suit on him. If anybody does that, make sure you post a picture on that Nate guys and gals on Facebook. I want to see him dressed up like Slender Man in a suit. All right, let's go ahead and get him going here. There's his lights and his evil alien sounds. He is totally awesome, and I absolutely love the size of his hands. His hands are so huge. Whenever I see the huge hands on an animatronic like this, I just always think they want to reach out, grab my skull, and crush it. Oh my gosh, guys, I just turned around and was very surprised to see this animatronic on the floor for sale. I'm going to show you in just a minute because there is a lot of stuff in here. But let's go ahead over here and check out Art because I know you are all waiting. Check this out. He's got his horn down here. He has his fingerless gloves on and he has his sunglasses on. The daisy sunglasses. Are they daisies? I think they're daisies. And look how wide his shoes are. Those things are enormous. He's got a serious case of club foot. <laughs> and the face on him actually looks really, really good. I'd like to see his eyes, but I don't want to take the glasses off. All right. I believe that this is the trigger for him. Yep, here he goes. And it's like overkill on the horn. <laughs> he is pretty awesome. And let's do it again because I want to see his hand waving. Watch this, his hand waves. That is really cool. That is so creepy. And if you've ever seen the Terrifier movies, puke, Ugh, sick. <laughs> All right, let's just back up a second here so we can appreciate the down the duck game. We got the ducks over here. We got the, uh, the little laser guns here that shoot the ducks. Let's see if we can actually, do they actually move? The guns make sounds, but they're very, very quiet, and you can hear the circus music going. There's one duck moving over here. Look at this. Behind Art, one duck moving. The rest of them must have got blown to smithereens. All right, we got the classic sitting scarecrow over here. Hold on. We got to put some stickers in his bucket. Hold on now. All right, let's put a couple in there. Apparently his sensor is not on, but he does have a step pad. There he is. Oh, wait, he's the scary sitting scarecrow. All right, enjoy your stickers, mister. And right in front of him, we have a whole stack of sitting scarecrows and scary sitting scarecrows for sale. I wonder what I was going to call him. Scary sitting carecrows. We can't ignore the hello rat. And hold on, let me just take a look at the flyer here because I haven't taken a good look at that. That looks totally awesome. Okay, right over here, check this out, guys. We actually have two Art the Clowns for sale here. They actually have a Mr. Punchy over here. And then look over here at what I see. What the heck? They have a Toothy the Clown for sale. I thought this guy was online only. He's actually much bigger than I thought he would be. It must be the head. The head is probably gigantic. And look at those teeth, speaking of toothies. Mouth moves as he speaks. Wow, it doesn't look like the mouth would move, but it says the mouth moves as he speaks. I don't even see a price on him. I wonder how he made his way into the store. That's so cool. That's one thing I love about going to so many different stores. You see different things in every single one. And people say I'm crazy when I say, oh, you might see that in a store, but there he is, Toothy the Clown. All right, below him we have a giant Death Ray. Beside him we got a Max Straw. Is this another? Yeah, we got two Max Straws. And then on the other side we have a Black Heart. Guys, they have an awesome selection of animatronics here. They are totally stocked. Look at this. They even have a Heckles over here. Holy crap. They got a Heckles. They got a Death... Wait, they got a Death Stalker in the store. What did I tell you? This is why I go to so many different stores. Now tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I believe that Death Stalker also was only supposed to be available online. Man, look at the gums on that guy. He's got some serious gingivitis. <laughs> 
And then look at this on the other side, we have a buzz saw. I have been so up in the air of whether or not I want to buy a buzz saw. I know I don't have room in the Hummer today, but he is pretty dang awesome. And I would like to have him just because he's in the Spirit Halloween movie. Man, guys, this store is absolutely killing it with animatronics and they even have more over here. Oh my God, the whole row down here is full of more animatronics. Check this out, we actually have two Monty monkeys here. Two Monty monkeys, we got a straw man here and Emmeline down on the bottom. We got another Emmeline here. Is this Emmeline? We got three Emmelines in this store, guys. How crazy is that? We got a Slim over here. And look at this, holy crap. We have Papa Pins, Stilts, and then we got two Cotton Candy Dans. Man, I thought Cotton Candy Dans box was huge, but look at stilts. Look at this. I am like barely in the store. I just came from that door over there. I've only made my way over here and we have already seen so much awesome stuff, guys. I absolutely love stores like this that are so stocked up. Plus we got all this to look at. Oh my gosh, I see stuff hanging up and on the shelves that I have never seen before, but we're gonna save that stuff. Whoa, if I don't show this one right now, we may never see it again. It is a new zombie baby for 2024. Look at that. Her name is Barbara Wire and she actually is chewing on barbed wire. That little girl is awesome. Oh my gosh, look, she's got barbed wire wrapped around her arm, around her neck. That is so cool and creepy. Look at that. The pigtails look like horns. And look at the yellow eyes. All right, I had to show you that one just in case they don't have her in other stores because those are flying off the shelf. But look at this. Over here, guys, we have two bobby strings. <gasps> Holy crap. We have the corpse bride. Emily, Emily, and I believe this is Emily on the other side here too. Yes, they have three Emilys. I actually just bought Emily and Victor. I put them together in another video. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you go back in my videos and watch that. And because honestly, these are some of the best looking animatronics I have ever seen. I don't see Victor sitting anywhere in here yet, but we're only halfway through the store. Look at this. We have two Barnaby bears in here. I told you they were stocked. One, two, three, four, five man's possessed friend. You can always bank on finding Bubba in these stores. Look at this. We have two demonic gatekeepers over here. We have a howling spirit. Oh my gosh, this guy is huge. Raises from three feet five inches to four feet seven inches. Lights up with orange LEDs. Speaks four lines while laughing evilly. Wait, was he also supposed to be online only? Maybe not. I don't know who I'm thinking of, but I don't know. You guys tell me. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe how much stuff they got in here. Look at this. We have a whole plethora of jumping spiders. We got the black jumping spiders, the gray jumping spiders, and the black and red jumping spiders. Look at us on the other side of the post. We have three dagger mics. If you missed getting Dagger Mike, I highly recommend him. He is an awesome jump scare. We are making our way over here, guys. There's even more over there. We got the empty soul girl on a swing here. Uh, more empty soul girls here. Look at this. We have an exorcist Reagan hiding over here. We got a swinging witch here. We got two grave watchers. We got a spike animatronic here. I thought he was online only as well, like two years ago, maybe? There's that snake I kept talking about getting last year. Oh my gosh, they have another inflatable that I have never, ever seen. I'm just gonna tell you what it's called. It's called the Dual Masked Inflatable. I'm not gonna show you right now because we've already had so much fun looking at all these animatronics and there are even more to go. I have to save some stuff for other stores. All right, let's keep on moving over here. Look at this, we got a collector's minion right here. I thought he was online too. Look at this, we have three gravestone gruels. What the heck, I called them gruels, gravestone gruels. We have three gravestone ghouls here. That's actually a smaller box than I expected with that guy. He's pretty good looking though. Look at the face on him. That is pretty cool and I love that creepy hair. It's so disgusting. Oh my gosh guys, I'm so excited to be in here right now. I see so much stuff that I have never seen before. But like I said, we have to save some for other stores in case I walk in and they don't have any animatronics. I will show you this though because these are flying off the shelves too. The Halloween 2 Statue Pumpkin Skull. Check that out. It's got a try me button. Oh, he's not turning on, but I think he lights up inside. That is awesome. 
Oh, and look at the back. It even says Halloween 2 on it. Oh, Danny girl. The Danny girls are Danny girls. I hear you nibbles will be there in a minute. I want to take a look at these really quick here. These hanging LED flame lights. Now, these are actually pretty small, but what I'm thinking with this is, if you guys saw the video, I have the giant 26-foot inflatable pumpkin that I just put up in my front yard. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch. I'm wondering if I hung this inside, would it look like an actual flame, like making that pumpkin flicker? Because I put some lights inside and it lights it up really good, but you really want it to look like it's got a big flame inside. I don't know, I'll have to think about that one. It probably would require a bigger one or maybe even several of those. All right, let's come over here and check this stuff out, guys. But first, let me show you this. We got Wanda Webworth over here. I don't know if she's set up in here or not. I haven't been through the whole store yet. And over here, we actually have a Nibbles on the floor for sale. Oh, look, they do have one to set up over here. Okay, let's start with Nibbles, though, because remember in the last store where I was trying to see his tracking motion feel like you're being watched? I have motion tracking sensor technology, and I couldn't get him to really follow me. It was really weird, but people have told me that you can't have your camera out. So first, let's just get him going here, see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like the laughing, but I like it better when they actually talk. You can't escape my gaze, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta say, I just wanted to see him in action and hear what he had to say, but as I was watching, a girl walked up, and it appeared that he looked her straight in the eyes. All right, let's see. If I set the camera down here, maybe we can see if he actually does it. I've been watching you for a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you so he did appear to work correctly at first i thought he wasn't working right but then he really did look straight at me and start following me around nibbles you are one kooky character and that could be considered Stalking. All right, Wanda Webworth. We know she's working in this store because we've heard her in the background this whole time I've been in here. So let's go ahead up and see if we can get her going here. Apparently she's on her sensor. Okay, whoa, okay. Look at that. She is so awesome. Yikes. She would be awesome to have set up in your movie room if you're watching Arachnophobia. Okay, let's come over to this side of the fun house here and let's get Cotton Candy Dan going. Apparently he's on the sensor as well. Is he on the sensor? Oh wait, no. He's got a step pad over here. Here we go. Cotton Candy Dan? Okay. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. All right, I gotta back up a minute so you can see the whole thing happen. Hold on now. Okay, how strange. I noticed this motion going on as he was ending. He's like plunging the head in and out of the cotton candy bucket. I didn't notice mine doing that and I own him. Do you guys have him and did you notice him doing that? All right, let's get it going again here. Step back so we can see the whole thing. Come on, Dan. Okay, so yeah, watch this. When he starts to put the head back in the bucket, it's like he's plunging it in and out. What the heck? That's even creepier than just putting it back in the bucket. <laughs> How weird. 
Is that what he's supposed to do, guys? Because I didn't notice mine doing that. Okay, we got three more over here, but first let's talk about these posters. Everybody keeps asking, are the posters for sale? And the answer is, some places they're for sale, some places they're not. Some places are selling them for a dollar each. Some places are saying that they're part of the display and they have to stay until the end of the season. So if you are dead set on getting one of those posters and you're told that you can't have it yet, just go to another store, they might sell it to you. Okay, so we're gonna go through the Fun House of Terror in a minute, but I've been putting it off because I did have more donuts this morning and I'm scared of the mirrors. On this side, we got Bobby Strings, we have Emily set up, and we have Barnaby the Bear. Who should we do first? Okay, I think let's do Barnaby the Bear. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the box here first because I've been curious how tall he is compared to Monty. So, Barnaby the Bear, he is 5 feet 10 inches tall at the tallest point. Monty over here stands six feet tall. So Monty is actually a little bit taller than Barnaby. But let's go over here and see him in action. I love his ball. I love his little mitts here. Ooh, he's loud. Yeah, I love how he like, he reminds me of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Because even though he has these gigantic fangs and scary eyes and he makes scary sounds, he has these little mitts here that are like, just so loving. <laughs> and he has a gold ball, so it's like Goldilocks and the Bear Mitts. Goldie Ball and the Bear Mitts. The feet too, look, they just look like cuddly teddy bear feet. Look at the hands. They're so not threatening. Please don't eat me with your scary fangs, but you can hug me with your loving paws. All right, let's check out Emily over here. I don't know why the stores aren't getting Victor. Maybe he'll be coming later on, but let's go ahead and get her going. Like I said, I bought these. This is wrong. I was a bride. My dreams were taken from me. No. No, I've stolen them from someone else. I love you, Victor. But you're not mine. She is awesome. One of my favorite animatronics of all times, guys. I'm so glad I bought her. And if you haven't seen it again, I have both of them. I bought them. I set them up the other day. Go back on my channel. You can watch that video and you can hear them clear as day. In here, it's kind of tough to hear what they're saying. Plus, you can connect them with a wire so they kind of go back and forth and talk to each other. All right, guys, we have one left here and it is Bobby Strings. And everybody is up in the air with this guy, whether you like him or not. There are cool things I think he is totally awesome myself. The only thing that I will point out that people are having a problem with is this part up here, how it's cardboard. So basically, like, if you set him up outside, that could get damaged. I'm not sure yet how you could fix that. I'd have to look at the mechanism, but you might actually be able to build a wooden one or maybe even plastic. But I don't leave my animatronics outside anyway, so, I mean, he would just be cool to have at the scare house. Okay, Bobby Strings, $309.99. Let's get him going. Tell you before you go to bed tonight. Once there was a handsome puppet that was so friendly that he gave you a big hug. This made you happy because you're the villain in the fairy tale and nobody likes you. Don't worry, I'll be your friend forever. No strings attached. I like him. I mean, not every animatronic has to be scary, guys, and I get it. He kind of sounds like Johnny Punk. He's sort of a bully, but he's totally awesome. All right, let's do that one more time. Oh, boy, you finally made it. I pulled some strings to get you here. Please come hang out with me, and I'll loop you in on the disturbing things that we have going on around here. This city of me is on the loose. I wouldn't want to string you along with some awful rumor. But just in case, let me hide behind you. <laughs> 
I love how what he says just goes on and on and on. Like sometimes you don't want animatronics to talk, you want them just to stand there and be scary, especially if you have a haunt. But animatronics like this, I think it makes it much more worth the money when they talk long and they just yap, 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 yap. Okay, wow. We've seen all the animatronics in the store. I am pretty sure, unless there's a part over there that I haven't seen yet, but let's go through the Spirit Fun House here. All right, here we go, guys. The mirrors of fatness. What the heck is going on right here? <laughs> Before donuts, after donuts. <laughs> that will never get old. It's too hilarious. We got the clown over here. We have the fabric of death. We got this guy going on over here. Shh. He must be talking to the secret keeping cat when he tells us to keep secrets. And we got more wacky mirrors over here. I love when they actually have a setup that you could walk through. It's so awesome. Okay, I just wanted to take a quick look back through here and see if there was any other animatronics or anything that I missed. And I don't think there are. There's so much other cool stuff in here that I want to show you guys so bad. But I've got other stores to go to today, so I'm going to save it for those in case they don't have animatronics. Okay, yeah, we haven't been around this side yet. Let's just take a quick look and see if there's any animatronics back here. That we're missing sometimes they like to stick them in the corners and surprise us okay we do need to leave some stickers before we leave so let's put a couple here with art let's put some right by the fortune teller ball we'll leave a couple here for max straw we'll leave some in the bucket the bucket the bucket the bucket let's leave a couple with emily here and we'll leave a couple for nibbles and wanda there you go miss all right, guys, that was awesome. As always, St. Clairsville for the win. Great job with everything you guys got in there. 